Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video on this Christmas day. Merry Christmas, Merry Swolmas. You know what I'm saying? Happy holidays for y'all that, you know, celebrate what y'all celebrate. But y'all can see it's a little different this time. This is the first time I'm not spending Christmas with my actual family, but I'm spending it with my new family, okay. you know? My new, you know what I'm saying, little family. You can see we got our matching PJs and everything on. We've been up this morning cooking because it's something we should have did yesterday. But we up this morning cooking, and I'm going to show y'all what the entire spread looked like today. But nothing crazy planned today because this is the first Christmas that don't really feel like Christmas, and for one, because, you know, Houston is hot, so there's no snow. I'm used to Midwest Christmas. It's going to be snowing and cold and everything, but it's like 70 degrees here in Houston. But either way it go, it's going to be a good day. We're going to try to make the most out of it. We got football on today. We got NBA basketball on today. We may hit the gym a little bit later, but uh yeah merry christmas y'all y'all made it this far oh my goodness merry christmas I, I, it's not the end of the swollen but it's like it's what we was building up to is the christmas day you know so i'm about to go over there and show y'all what the entire spread looked like of the food that we ate today and let's get into the rest of the video it's gonna be a good day though we got a lot of things planned we got you know what I'm saying some gingerbread houses to build we got some food to eat we got some sports to watch and we you know say got some movies and stuff to watch too we got the christmas tree on in the background and everything it should be good you know what I'm saying? You see, we got our matching PJs on. Jingle bells, jingle bells. He look like a little kid. Mimi? Yeah. Jingle bells, jingle bells. But yeah, it should be a really good day. So appreciate y'all tapping in today's video. Hope y'all have a good day whenever y'all are seeing this. And you want to open this food for us, please? Yeah. Because this is this is was the most stressful morning that we didn't have trying to make all this food. But as y'all can see, the spread looking pretty decent so, so go ahead and take us through the reason why so i went out yesterday and bought everything for us because he is jamaican and usually you have jamaican christmases right yes or no you have black american christmases yes oh <laughs> so never mind then what we got we got mashed potatoes okay Okay. We're only gonna open from scratch though. Yes, from scratch. You gotta, you we did not specific. mashed potatoes from scratch from the actual potato. We don't do box potatoes. Okay, here. okay. Uh mac and cheese also from scratch. I'm excited for this. I'm you excited already? for this too. Look at that. Oh yeah, the baked John. Yeah. Oh looks so good. That do look good, I ain't gonna lie. This is just another thing. That's about, extra mac and so cheese. You need too much. This. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I did make some Brussels sprouts because but they look so good and they're really, really good. If y'all don't like Brussels sprouts, you gotta have my Brussels sprouts. Okay, okay. Some rolls with butter that were heated up. We'll probably heat them up again. Need that. Chicken, a big chicken. We got ham. We did have a full ham, but we only cut slices of it because yeah, we didn't need all of it. And then candied yams also. Everything's from scratch. Candy yam casserole. Yes, yeah, so marshmallows, pecans, candy yams. Yeah. How do you feel after cooking all this this morning? Um, I had a tiny breakdown just because the, the mac and cheese, black people, y'all know, you can't mess up the mac and cheese. And this was a lot of work because it was made like, you know, the black people way. So it was a lot of stress, but I mean, I think it turned out really good. It's just a baby. My, my mom was like, who, who are y'all cooking for? I said, it's just us two. She was like, all that for y'all two? I was like, yes. So I feel fine. I think it, as long as it turns out good, you know, it's whatever. Uh, it's Christmas, so you know, just make the best out of the rest of the day. So yeah, y'all, y'all can see good mashed potatoes, good mac and cheese, of course, of course, of course. I'm gonna move good rolls, one. good chicken, good ham. Oh yeah, put that in the fridge for later. Yeah. Good Brussels sprouts. We not, we not, eat, we not eating those. Why? I'ma try them. I promise you, might like, and they got the slap your mama, and they're a tad bit spike, like a tiny. I'ma spike. try them. I'ma try them. Like them. They're really good. This is what we most excited about because we had this at Solomon parents Thanksgiving, so we had to get the recipe and whip it up. You know what I'm saying? So this should be this should be pretty good. I ain't gonna lie to you. So we're gonna make our plates, really and then we go tap it with y'all when we start eating because. Wait, look at everything together. Okay, okay, okay. So okay, pretty, okay. so cute. So okay, ready now. You can show everyone. Show them the spread now. Yeah. There it is. It's there good, it right? is. It looked good. It looked like we for for us cooking for the first time, like something like this for the first time. I think we did a pretty good job. Oh yeah, I bet the shit is fire. This is our first Christmas together. 
as well as our first time really cooking a Christmas meal together. Because we didn't cook for Thanksgiving. We went to Solomon's parents' house. Now, I damn near feel like we could cook for Thanksgiving. We could. It would literally just be a bunch more other stuff. It just No, it's literally this and then turkey. No. It depends on what we're cooking for. But, like, making dressing and cram uh, cranberry sauce and all that stuff, that's not hard. You know? So. Yeah. We, we had some we had corn on yeah. the cob as well that we didn't make an asparagus. And asparagus. Yeah, but we were like, we're this already this good. already a lot, so we didn't even go too too too, too crazy. It yeah. looks yummy. Yeah, it do look good though, I ain't gonna lie. So y'all, like y'all can see, we about to chow down. It's early in the morning too, so we have the rest of the day to actually like go do things if we want to. So you know, everything is damn near closed today though, so we, it may not be just much that we can do. We probably just gonna go ahead and go to the gym. I talked to Ryan earlier. He talking about he going to the gym now so he can work off the food because he know he's gonna eat crazy tonight. But you know, sometimes it be like that. Sometimes it be like that. First Christmas at the crib. First Christmas together. And many more. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day, y'all. So yeah, make sure y'all like, come subscribe, share the video with a friend. Let's get to the video, man. I ain't gonna lie, this this is a good looking plate for Christmas. For being the first time cooking, this this is a pretty good looking plate. I ain't gonna hold you. It looks good. I ain't gonna hold you. That it, it look this look good. Look at Major that. over there mad because he can't get none. He can get a piece of chicken. I might I might give him some. It looks really good though. But no, nah, this do look good. We got some mashed potatoes, little mac and cheese, action Brussels sprouts, Hawaiian rolls. Gotta have that rotisserie little chicken. Keep it easy, you know what I'm saying? And then a little ham, baked ham, baked ham. For these, these candy yams, that's what I'm excited Yeah, we gonna, I'm, I'm gonna eat that second though. We don't yeah, wanna, you know wait. what I'm saying? That's a little dessert. We're gonna eat this right now though. This this right here look good. We, once we get everything together, we're gonna do a little taste test. You know what I'm saying? A little taste test. No mukbang though, no mukbang bang. Just a little taste test. All right now, time to taste our creation. Like I said, first time really cooking for Christmas dinner. My parents don't really make Christmas dinner. We, we Normally we be in Jamaica, but it's like Jamaican food, you know? So this is my first like Christmas dinner. I know for like Christmas people we having like ham, right? Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving people we having like more turkey and stuff. Turkey ham. But my parents, boy, when it be Christmas, we having curry goat, oxtail, jerk chicken, shrimp, croft, all kind of stuff. So this is like the first traditional, you know what I'm saying, Christmas meal. So ready? Yeah, mac and what cheese. What are we trying first? Mac, mac and, and cheese. cheese first? Okay. Please, please, please. <laughs> I had a mental breakdown over this. All right. Ready? It's good. <laughs> it's good. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. It's really good, yeah. Got a little kick to it. What'd you put on top? Hmm? You put paprika or you put cayenne pepper? Both. Oh. It's good though. It is good. I'm 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 okay with that. I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. We'll play it. Merry Christmas, y'all. We spent all morning cooking. Didn't pray. Oh my goodness, we did. Go. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for this day that you have made on your special day. Um, I just ask that you have allow us to have a pretty decent day. Allow us to. Be more cheerful, allow us to go throughout the day in your name and really exalt you in your name. I just ask that you allow us to let this food nourish our bodies, let this food go to the right places, and dear Lord, allow us to be safe, successful, and thankful on this day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Why are you major whining again? Because he always wanted. So we spent all morning cooking. Merry Christmas, guys. We love you guys so much. We decided to spend Christmas, just the two of us. Um, and yeah. This is good. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. This is busting. You like it? I'm so happy. It turned out really well. To myself, we don't care. Guess what? You click the live to join, buddy. <laughs> Try the Brussels sprouts. Okay, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yeah, it's just like it tastes like grass. No, it doesn't. Every green vegetable tastes like grass. Alexa, play Christmas music in the kitchen.
Oh wait, Alexa, turn off. I forgot. Copyright. What? <laughs> On YouTube. Yeah. I forgot. We made ham, chicken, mac and cheese, Brussels sprouts, rolls, and mashed potatoes. This chicken good. Yeah, the chicken really good. Hey, what's this? Yeah, cowboy hot. What y'all doing today, man? Yeah, y'all know with family. There's a lot of people on here. Y'all know with family? What y'all doing today? The ring under the tree. No, oh, it's just because it's the most non-Christmas feeling Christmas day. Tell me I'm cop. Like today, it just feel like another day. You know? It don't feel that holiday e. Yeah. It just feel like another day. Well, that's okay. I don't remember. I spent Christmas alone last year. I don't remember the last time Christmas felt like Christmas to me though. No, for real. Even Christmas on a, a Monday. Christmas on a Monday is crazy. So much I didn't get shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, bro. We didn't either. Nothing to say. All right, y'all. We finna eat. I'm going to type in with y'all once this plate get clear because I might go back for a couple more though. But it's really good. Hope y'all enjoying y'all day. Y'all rate the plate down below. And I hope y'all had a good plate too. And if you didn't eat nothing, it's okay, bro. There's always next year. I was in your position before. What? You ain't never not ate on Christmas. This is my first time eating like Christmas food though. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Oh, I thought you meant like not eat at all. Like your oh, parents was well, like, nigga, go to bed. If you didn't eat at all, then. <laughs> all right, so it's time for the dessert. Well, partial dessert. So go ahead and share out them uh, candy pecan yams. You don't know nothing about these. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, I need to see the what peoples? they look like. Yeah, they I'm don't know nothing the about these. Half. I want to see what that what that look like under there. Oh yeah. oh yeah. I ain't gonna lie. They're so warm too. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, we turn the light on for the full effect. Ooh, ooh, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness. Where's my spoon at? I'm about to get it. Oh. How you trying it before? That's not fair. I didn't even eat it. I literally held it in my mouth. Come on, give me a new spoon. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. The top mm -hmm. with the brown sugar, the pecans, and the mm -hmm. marshmallows. It's I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I don't even like candy yams, but mm -hmm. these are so good. This, that recipe is fire. We gatekeeping that. I was about to say I ain't telling y'all. Yeah, we shit. Ain't, can't tell y'all about that. All I'm, all I'm saying is, let me just let me give y'all just a peek, so y'all can see what it's looking like. Stop looking at me. You gotta cover your face. <laughs> Auto focus too good. Look at that. Look at that. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. So good. Candy yam with a little pecan. Yeah, you got a little marshmallow with a little brown, a little cinnamon. Look, I can't tell y'all the entire details, man. It tastes like, like literally, oh, like yeah. a pie. No, this shit good. Mm hmm. And that's why I said we need all three of them. And it ain't wet or it's running. You see the um the brown sugar running and it's like syrupy and all that. Nah. This is good. Oh yeah. I'm glad we have two. I could do that. I could do that for sure. My parents gonna watch this and gonna be like, I don't like candy yams, cause my brother like candy yams. But these right here, I don't even wanna call these candy yams. We're gonna call these. What should we call them? Um. This is a swole surprise. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you got a napkin? Yeah, I'll get you one. <laughs> ain't that good. Ain't good, but. It's that swole surprise, right? Yeah. Why did they have you? Hmm? It just, it just rained. Oh my goodness. We can call it the Crane and Candy Concoction. Crane and Candy Concoction. Mm -hmm. 
Brandon. Call it the CC. Canaan and Christian. Call it the, call it the, the candy Christmas. I bet this would be good with some ice cream. Do we got ice cream? No, but. We're going to get some ice cream. That's going to be tough with some with ice cream. Wait, heat it up. Put a little oh, bit yeah. more marshmallows on top. It's going to be tough with some ice cream. And some I ice cream on the side. Looks like a pie. Yeah, man. So we're going to enjoy this right here. And now, I know what's next. I'm going to head to the gym and go work this off. Let me lay down for a second. Let it get through me first. Anytime she eat anything other than blueberry muffins, she got to go to sleep. No, I just need to. It takes two hours to digest food. It takes me on the way to the gym. <laughs> it's going to be digested by the time this pre-workout hit my system. You I feel need me? Some time. You slept in late. Go ahead. You take your time. Take your time. Pump finna be stupid today. I'm, I'm telling you. I got a RPE. Woo! Are you bringing them with the to with you to the gym? Yeah. Okay. Um, I know it's your video. Just make sure you put my bench press in there because I have a one by one at seven to eight. And so you gonna put two twenty five on there? Maybe two twenty five would be a good seven to eight. Okay. If, I, if I'm able. Okay. Two twenty five it is. But y'all, food was good. I didn't show y'all that like cooking process because that was hectic and. If we had, if like Ryan was here to like record, it kind of probably would have been like aesthetic and everything, but like setting the camera up to like show the cooking process and everything. Kitchen was a mess. Y'all know how it is when, when you cook but it. But we did a good job with like filtering out dishes and like the kitchen's clean yeah. and everything. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was good. It's we still had a good, good. system. Because I was, I started cooking, I was by myself, and then he woke up and came down. And by that time, I was already stressed out. Because she's trying to cook by herself to surprise me instead of letting me help. It's okay. It's trying to be nice. I get it. But it wasn't my parents own a restaurant, so I came down here and got it situated. I came, I came in and backpacked the cooking That's station. That's not what happened. I came in and took her and threw her over my shoulder That's and carried not, us to victory. You said, what do I have to, what do I do? I said, what do, what do you need? And she said, do this. And you know what I did? This and some. Got it right. But yeah, like that, what I, fuck, what am I saying? With that being said, we finna head to the gym in a little bit. And then I got... Full chest today. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just because I want to get super nasty pump. And we're going to Roman Empire today. So it should nasty. be fun. Yeah. Nasty pump. Ah! Wait. Ah! Oh my gosh. Ah! Ah! Okay. Yep. That's the candy yam getting to my brain. That, or we, yep. It's time to go. I'll see you at the gym. Y'all finally made it to the gym. Gonna knock out this quick little chest day. It's Monday, so you know, I'm, you know, I know I'm on my bro split, so we're doing all one workout, but I think I'm gonna keep it real raw today just because I'm trying to get in, get out, but get a good pump, put that food to you. So we got the bands warming up. We're gonna start on this incline press. It's gonna be good, man. So there ain't no time for this, man. Raw workout. Let's get into it. Only problem is my camera battery is definitely dead. So I got 14% on this one and I got the other ones charging. So we're gonna see how much we can actually do because my batteries is dead, but until it shut off, we're gonna keep it rolling. So Started with a warm up on the incline press just because we ain't did no movements yet. But uh, this one feel good. I normally like to start with an incline. So one thing I love about Roman is just it got so much damn equipment. So you can't really go wrong in anything that you want to do. That's good. Boom. Go ahead, load up some weight on here. Hopefully they ain't take all the 45. You know, I'm honestly surprised at the amount of people in the gym today. Even though it is Christmas, people still love to get it in. They said, especially because it's gym 24 hours, so they ain't got no reason not to come. If it's Monday, you know, like it's different if it was a weekday, like it was Sunday, it was a weekend or something like that, but it's definitely Monday. So start your week off right, get your ass in the gym. Oof. I feel good. I think we're gonna go three plates. We're gonna start repping it out there, but it's feel good. All right, first working set now. Three plates on there, going for about eight to twelve. So you gonna see how this feels. But remember, what I told y'all, eight good reps. You feel me? Not no eight pushing through reps. If I get to eight and it's not heavy enough, we gotta add some more weight. But I think these three plates right here gonna be good enough. So let's see. Ooh. Yep. Mm. 
Yeah, we could definitely add some more weight on there. Not too much though. Probably like a 15, 10 or a 15. 25 gonna be OD. 10 or 15. But if it's only 25 over here, that's, that's what we gotta do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell no. Nah. That's 25 for heavy shit. We go 10s for right now and then see what it feel like. But we did 12 right there. So that means this next set, we're probably gonna be able to do like eight, eight to 10 at that same weight. And we're gonna do a drop set on this last one. But damn, this I told you, this is the reason I like Roman, bro. Cause it's just like the vibe in here is just conducive to working out. You feel me? Like even on a on a holiday, you feel me? Like it's a good temperature in here. Everybody be talking about it be cold in here. It ain't even cold, bro. Like this is a good temperature, you know? Like got a sweatpants on, the hoodie. I'm gonna get a good workout. And I even get out for the day. Hold on, let me get a little fit check right quick. Gymshark new tee right here. I'm gonna show you the back in a second, but we got the power, power hoodie with the Gymshark on the back. See that? We got new Gymshark cargo sweats right here. Y'all can see. These right here, these is fire. So we got them. We got, uh, what's it called? This Gymshark tee on. Shout out the back. So y'all can see. Look right. No, no, you good, you good. Graphic on the back, graphic on the back. And we got a Black Hat 4s on. Bro, I finally got all my clothes in from the moving company. So that means we got the full arsenal of clothes finally in Houston. This is the first time I've ever had all my shoes, all my clothes, everything like that in Houston. So you already know the fits is gonna be coming crazy. Fits is gonna be coming real crazy. Cause I finally got the shoes to match the clothes. I don't wanna go too crazy today because if I would've put on like, say my, like my Thunder 4s or like I got some University Gold 12s, like that would've clashed too much with the colors. Like yeah, it got gold in it, but like the black is sleek. It's sleek, it's cool. Don't do too much with y'all fits, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't have to match every color. All it is is just, you know what I'm saying? Piece it together. Don't try to match every single thing. That's where people be going wrong. Don't try to match every color. People be trying to go blue, 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 blue. Like, no, <laughs> no. Contrast it. Primary, secondary color. Just make it look good. It ain't got to do too much. But yeah, that's enough talking. Time to get into this work. Whew. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave it running too. I told y'all I was raw. Come on. 8 to 12, 8 to 12. Ah. That's a good set. That's a good set. Whew. One more set right here. We're gonna move on to some flies. One thing I love, that's so why I told you I love Roman, bro. I just love Roman. You got so many damn pieces of equipment in here, bro. We got incline flies next. That you ain't gotta talk to nobody for real. That's why we don't want to go to Alpha Land. Cause y'all know how to cook, y'all know how to, you know what's it called? Fuck, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm out of breath. Y'all don't know how to manage talking and working out. Y'all do 70% talk, 30% work. I'm trying to go 70% work. 30% talk. No bullshit. All right, I'm gonna cut the camera off because this bitch finna die. Give me one second. Go, fine. Yeah, all right, we back. Last set, last set, last set. We're gonna make this one heavy. I don't know if we're gonna drop set it because we got a lot of shit to do today, but we're finna get right. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, we can drop it. We can drop it. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna be weak in here today. We got a lot of food to put to use, <laughs> so it don't even matter. We gonna make the most of that shit. And yeah, they got the Christmas spirit music playing in here. Y'all can't hear it because we're not gonna get copyrighted by this shit. But just so y'all know, they in the spirit for sure. Whew. All right, come on. good work oh that's good work all right y'all so done with that one right there now we're moving into a fly always go compound fly 
or compound isolation, compound isolation. So moving into this incline fly, then we're gonna move into some type of flat press, but it's feeling good so far, it's feeling good so far. We're putting that food to use for sure. And then my protein pump is coming in. All right, one of my favorite movements is up next, incline hammer strength fly or arsenal fly, whichever one we fucking got. But we got two plates on there, 225, just to get a good warm up feel. But this right after some type of incline movement, that's pressure, pressure. Ooh, this feels good. But just getting a warm up. Nice little weight. Mm. Sorry, I'm moaning in y'all ear and shit, my bad. <laughs> my bad. All right, I'm gonna add one more plate on there and get to work. 100,000, 100,000, a million style money shot. All right, where am I gonna find these 25s at? I don't know. We might just have to stack 10s. I think that's what we're gonna do for right now. Stack 10s. Because I can't find no fucking 25s nowhere. So stack 10s and call it a day. On the show. Uh, Let's see what this feel like. I swear, every time I'm finna start talking, the music turn off. It's like they know me or so. About 12. The 12. Mm. Fly and then press out. Boom. Fly and then press out. Boom. Ah. All right, we only gonna do eight. Cause I just did that, but we gonna wait a second. And then get to the rest. Let me go switch my batteries out. Cause I feel like this shit finna die. BRB. All right, we waited long enough. So, work time, work time. That's why I love having a 20 in the gym. I'll put y'all right in my face. So I can see that work. 4K 60. Okay, 4K 30. Just about it. Okay. Whew. Whew. Two more set. Well, no, one more set. That count. One more set after this. And move on to some type of flat press. And then another type of fly. Probably like a seated fly, just like a regular machine fly. Shit, when I'm here, you got access to all this equipment. It'd be hard to know what you want to do. Just because it's like, you got access to so much shit. You get overwhelmed. Overstimulate. You know how it be when it's like, you got so many things to do at the same time, you can't end up doing nothing because you just be sitting there. That's how I feel when you be in here when you got all this damn equipment. It's like you got so many options to do shit. What am I supposed to do? So we're gonna end up doing uh, two flies, two presses, and then a compound. We already did our compound, so yeah. Two presses, two flies, and something else. Probably like a dip or some shit. Call it a day. Whew. But it's, it's good right now. It's, it feel real good right now. Just cause we in here feeling good. Chest pumping up a little bit. It's warm. I raced about seven cars on the way here. Gassed them all. Stock as hell. Well, not really stock, but like pretty stock. And then, shit, about a week and a half, it's gonna be supercharged. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. <laughs> Maybe I know it. Shit, if y'all watching the video, I know by now. But yeah, we got some mods coming to Venom, boy. He finna be, boy. He ain't gonna be wanna be up to it. You feel me? All right, I'm talking too much. I'm gonna catch y'all when the set start. All right, boom, last one, last one, last one. All right, let's get to work, man. Hold on, we gotta have music play for this one. Sometimes when I be talking to y'all, I cut the music off. What? This top set. Whew. All right, come on. Hopefully it's focused on me. I'm trying to talk during this set. So my stuff don't get copyright. Mm. 
Whew. Yep, enough of that, enough of that. Whew. All right, how do we done? I'm going on to a press now, some type of flat press. I got two options behind me. Whichever one open, that's the one we're doing because that's the beauty of Roman Empire. You got so many damn machines to choose from. You can never wait for a damn piece of equipment. So let's get into it. So here we have another piece of equipment that y'all probably never seen before. This is a Panada bench press. Well, it's called a dual system power smith. But what I'm trying to do is see if I can set it up a little bit because I think it declines, but I don't know if it inclines. That's the problem. I know this one right here inclines, but I'm gonna see if this one do. This is one thing, bro. Y'all can't ever be afraid to mess with the equipment until you figure out how to work it. So this one, it don't incline. But don't be afraid to mess with the equipment if y'all don't know what's going on because how else you gonna figure out a way to, to use the damn equipment if you're you scared to mess around with it to see if it fucking, you know what I'm saying? To see what it really do. Um, let me look at this one right quick. Let so, me turn it so y'all can see. Let me look at this one because they got it right beside it. I know this one right here is inclined, obviously, but I wanna see how low it go. So I want to have a, a little incline, but not like super high. Okay, so yeah, this one only go to right here. So I'd rather do the flat press because we just did so many incline shit. So switch back to that one. Like I'm saying, bro, you can't be scared to shit. Use equipment. Figure out how it works. How, how else you expect to learn how to use equipment if you're scared to put, you know what I'm saying, scared to look confused for a second. You're scared to get under there and figure out what the hell is going on. Don't be prideful in the gym, man. We all started somewhere. That's one thing I tell y'all, bro. Like, everybody that you see in the gym know what they're doing or look like they know what they're doing. They all went through that process of trying to figure out what the hell they got going on. Because nobody just walked into the gym and know how to do everything. And if you think you did, shit, kudos to you, bro. But like, be serious, bro. Not, not everybody just walked into the gym and knew how to use every piece of equipment in there. They had to move stuff around. They had to figure it out for themselves or they had somebody show them. That's why I'm here, to show y'all. But just don't be scared to figure out how to work stuff, you know? Uh, especially when it's new crazy shit like this right here. <laughs> Cause I know half of y'all probably don't even got this in y'all gym. So if you walked in here and you seen this machine, you like, damn, this shit look cool, but I'm scared to use it because I don't know how to set it up. Bro, take your time and go figure that shit out. <laughs> yeah, but with that being said, let's go ahead and add some weight on here. I'm already talking too much. Just because I want to make sure my video don't get dead damn CC'd. <laughs> so let's add some weight on here. That gets to work. Same thing as we did before. Just like on the other one, we doing like eight to 12. And I'll tell y'all eight to 12, but y'all know what my eight to 12 look like. Go ahead and knock these out. And we're gonna go into a flat fly after this. I can see the machine test fly. Probably gonna come out the, the jacket real soon. That's layer one. We got three layers on today. Jacket, shirt, stringer. And then shirtless if we really feeling like that. But you know, we was eating mac and cheese earlier and shit. So that's probably not gonna happen. Whew. Now I know why y'all like these raw workouts. Cause I just be talking. And y'all just be here listening, watching me work out. I know y'all don't like the epidemic sounds and shit, but hey, we gotta get paid. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. <clears throat> All right, add one more plate on here. One more, one more. That's gonna be a good weight. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all rather me just continue rolling the camera and just talk like this or y'all want to see me just cut it off and y'all want to just watch the workout. Y'all let me know down below. Until then, I'm just going to keep the camera rolling and talk my shit. Whew. Except I'm going to cut it off right now because you know my shit finna die. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. We're back. Time to get to a wizard. Come on. So 8 to 12 right here depending on how I feel. Shit, if it's light, we're going to go for more. But three plates on the menu. Let's get into it. You feel me? All right, come on. Mm, goddamn. Mm. Running up this money, been a breeze. Blew in she, till she leave. I done fell in love with buying jeans. Hell care faster than a demon. New G wagon with no key. Woo. 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 One thing I'm scared of on this one right here is if I can't get it back to the top, I'm gonna know where them extra lengths be at. 
they on there for security, but I'm gonna try to push to the top every time. Sheesh. That felt good though. Two more sets right here. Going to a fly and then end with some dips. That's a good day, if you ask me. Five little solid exercises. Or I might do like weighted dips. Yeah. Five little solid exercises. Good pump. Good holiday workout. Nice, quick, and easy. Nothing too much, but shit. Getting it in at the end of the day. You feel me? So I hope y'all went and got some work in today. Like, I, I know it's Christmas. The most non Christmassy feeling Christmas yet. And I hope y'all got some work in. And I'm gonna use this time right now to tell y'all that today's the 25th. Coaching go live on the 26th, okay? I don't know when this video is coming out, but I wanna be the first to let y'all know that like the first 30 people that sign up for coaching, you get a month free. Like if you commit to six months, you get a month free. So like, I just want y'all to be on top of it. Like I want y'all to tap in and like take advantage of these deals, you feel me? Because y'all know me, I've been giving y'all free game for so long, so long, bro. I've been giving y'all straight free game. Now it's finally time to take it up enough, take it to another level. Get the people that need more than the free game, more than the workouts here and there, the ones that need that one-on-one -on -one coaching, the ones that need that personalized workout, personalized meal plan, no matter what y'all got going on, I'm not competition prepping. So don't, no, 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 no. We not ready for that yet. When it comes, I'll let y'all know about that. I done did three shows. You think I'm ready to coach somebody else to a show? Hell no, nah. let's get that clear. <laughs> so everybody that's jumping into competition prep after doing like two, three shows, yo, good luck with that. But <laughs> me, y'all, uh, no, we just doing lifestyle coaching. People trying to get their body right, trying to get in the right lifestyle, trying to get under the right, make, get their nutrition together, get their body together, set themselves up right for 2024, tap the hell in, you feel me? So, so I'm gonna put the link uh, right here, trainwithswole.com, if y'all trying to tap in, because by the time y'all seeing this, it should be live already. And I'm going through applications as we speak. So if you're seeing this right now, go ahead and get tapped in, bro. I'm telling you, y'all need to get right. Y'all need to get right. I'm trying to take on as many people as I physically can to get still get out that one-on-one -on -one connection, but at the same time, have a community of people getting right together. You feel me? That's the plan, that's the plan. And y'all, just wait. If you're trying to get right for 2024, sign up right now. If you're trying to get right for 2024, sign the hell up right now because spots is going real quick. And I hope I'm able to get all the y'all in, but I know the demand is there. And I know if you're really trying to get right, you got to commit. You got to commit. I'm not taking no fakers, bro. None. You got to you gotta be serious, bro. Y'all know how I, come, how I get when it comes to this workout shit, okay? I'm not babysitting nobody. I, I want people that's ready to work. People that's ready to put the time in, commit to the goals, no excuses, with the drive to get the shit done. You feel me? So I can only do so much. I give you the plan, I give you the instruction, I can take your check-ins, and I can stay on top of you that way. But if you're not working, if you're not doing your cardio, you're not getting your meals in, and you're not doing the shit that you got to do on your end, Shit, what you signing up for, bro? <laughs> what you signing up for? You better get back to using them Instagram workouts and bullshitting like you have, man. <laughs> but if that's not you, and you trying to get right, link in the description. You feel me? <laughs> Last set. Whew. Come on. Turn it up and never repeat it. Okay, that's good. We about good here. So moving on to that flat machine fly now. And then one more thing and we go. I'm gonna go check on Crane and see what she got going on. She benching today. So whew. I think she 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 be done real quick though, because she just got benched and some accessories. So we're gonna be out of here real soon. But me personally, the workout busting. I'm having a great day. If y'all can't tell. About to go check on Crane y'all. Make sure she over here working and not just bullshitting. <clears throat> Hey, excuse me. I saw you were pushing uh, some heavy weight and I was wondering, what do you do? Huh? I saw what you were pushing some heavy weight and I was just wondering, what do you do? I lift the world. You lift the world? Yeah. Oh, really? I get paid for that. You get paid to lift the world? Yeah, like, it's so, that solar system. Yeah. Okay, so question. How much do you got to pay to lift me? <laughs> <laughs> for free. For free? You good? What you got left? Back down. And that's it? I got two things and then I'm done. Good job. Daily check-in complete. 
It's like when you play in the game and then you go check on your girl when you win the match. That's what I just did. <laughs> Back to the workout. All right, y'all. Second to last exercise. Oops. Hold on now. Don't break the machine. Okay. <laughs> Second to last exercise. These seated flies right here. Making sure we getting a good squeeze, good contraction, pushing good weight. Ooh. To end a good workout. You feel me? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Christian, shut the fuck up. My bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. Y'all can't tell. I didn't put myself in a better mood with this workout. Sometimes just getting into the gym, putting your headphones on, listening to music, and bettering yourself is all you need to turn a not so great day into a better one. That's all. So I hope y'all can see the effect that the gym can have on your mental, not just the physical, you feel me? Because I know a lot of people that go to the gym for therapeutic reasons, and y'all just witnessed it firsthand, how my mood and turned around just because I got a little blood flowing, got a little uh, muscular serotonin, I don't know what I'm talking about, y'all, don't mind me. I'm just trying to let y'all know I feel good, that's all, <laughs> that's all. Y'all like, damn, swole, come out the shirt already. I know that's what y'all want to see. Just give me some time, bro. I didn't realize this. And I, let me know if y'all if y'all feel this, what I'm about to say. But like sometimes I just keep the pump cover on because when you warm, the blood flow is there and your joints just feel a little better. And it's like, why would I take it off just to get cold, to show off my muscles? Everybody know I'm big. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to take it off every single time. Like. It's different when, you know, you shred it and you're trying to show off. But like right now, bro, we just having a casual, like calm workout. Ain't no reason for me to be out here taking off pump covers and stuff. I'd rather be warm because over here, I feel the air blowing. I'd rather be warm, keep my nice little blood flow and focus on the work. I'll take the pump cover off at the end to show the flex. You feel me? But for right now, boy, we just not worry about that. So y'all let me know in the comments down below. I feel like when you young, you only worry about, oh, taking the pump cover off. Like, show the pump, show the pump. Flex in the mirror. And when you get older, it's kind of just like, everybody knows what you look like by now. I ain't in here trying to flex on nobody. We just in here trying to work. And that's it. So, y'all let me know if y'all if y'all agree with that or not. Whew. But with that being said, ooh, we got two more sets here. We're going some dips and end the day. And after that, I'm going to show you what the pump looks like. But for right now, it's feeling good. It's feeling good. I can tell you that. Maybe we'll take this one off just to show this t-shirt and the fit, you know? But for right now, ain't no reason to be in here trying to flex. We good, we're good, we're good. Whew. I think I found the damn recipe. I think what I'm doing, like, mic'd up videos where I'm gonna have the mic on a lot, I'm gonna use the 20 just so I can talk and then not be like halfway across the gym. And I got the wireless mics on right now. But like, when I'm using like cinematic videos, I'm trying to do just like montages and B-roll, I'm gonna put the 50 on so I can get to like the nice blurry images and everything. But when it's raw like this, y'all don't really need like the super blurry background and everything like that. It's just cool, like kind of like this. Cause it's blurry enough, you feel me? Like you don't see everything in the background, but it's still focused on me, you know? But like, I think, I think it's good like this. I think I found the recipe. And y'all let me know if I should start vlogging with the wireless mic on. Cause y'all let me know what this sound like. Y'all like what this sound like. I can start vlogging with the wireless mic instead of like having the mic on top or just not having the mic on at all. Cause sometimes I'll be too lazy and I don't put the mic on, but it ain't nothing to clip this on my shirt and walk around with it all day. Cause these bad, these mics got like 15 hours of battery life. I don't be vlogging for that damn long, you know? I can just have it on. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. But with that being said, last set, I'm gonna do some dips. We're gonna get up out of here. <clears throat> Is it just me? Wait, I can't be singing because y'all are not supposed to listen to the music to know it. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Ooh. 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 Uh. Oh, damn. Ooh. Okay, one more, one more. Go ahead, drop set it for the hell of it, just because it's the last really compound. We're going to burn out with these dips right after this, but last really like weighted movement, so we can go ahead and burn it out. It's just me. 
Okay, yeah. Enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. I think one thing about being in Houston and working out and blogging and talking at the same time is just like, it's a lot more conducive for that shit. Like, yeah, I know my private gym, but there's a lot of older people in there. Nobody really recording their workouts for real, nothing like that. So it'd be weird sometimes when you just be in there talking, you know? But like when I'm down here, it's just like everybody locked in on everything that they doing. Like I'm talking and nobody even looking my direction. If I was in the other gym, that shit, they wouldn't even have music playing for one. So everybody could hear me. But even now, it's just like I could talk and feel just like in my own little bubble. And especially because the space big enough that ain't nobody faced with the mic and the camera and everything. So I don't know. I just feel a lot more comfortable doing it down here. And I really like that. So that's definitely going to improve, you know, the quality of our mic'd up videos and everything here soon. Because I feel like I can do more myself now that I'm here. I can talk my shit, be goofy, talk loud. Shit, just talk to y'all and work out at the same time. So, yeah. I'm just rambling. I'm just passing time, damn near. Booking eight these dips and get up out of here. It's the last thing of the day. Somebody over there on it right now, so I'm going to go jump in with him. We're going to go back and forth. But for right now, let's head over to them dips. I know a lot of people don't really do dips no more. But I like to finish my work outside with them just so I could get, you know, that body weight calisthenic movement a little bit and just burn out the muscle rather than, you know, push weight every single set. Especially when it's like I did enough today to not overstimulate it, but this right here is just enough to finish it off, you know? So we just burning these out right here. Anywhere from like 15 to 20 to where you can feel it in your chest and everything working together, but not over here going super crazy because I don't feel like putting the weight on my belt or nothing like that. Ah. Just like that. About two or three sets here. I'm going to call it a day. All right, y'all. Last one and we done. Whew. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. Hope y'all had a good day because we've had a good day so far. Once we get up out of here, we're going to head back home. Then we got these gingerbread houses to make. We're probably going to go on live again while we make these gingerbread houses and have a little competition, a little friendly competition, see who made the best gingerbread house, you know what I'm saying? And end off probably watching the Christmas movie or something like that. Some hot chocolate, even though I don't like chocolate. And you know, have a good rest of the day. You know, try to turn the day around because I know y'all seen this morning, the energy was a little weird, a little weird, but y'all y'all understand, relationship shit, you know? But for right now, just trying to make the mess of this day, you know? Celebrate the day in the best way that we can. After this, I'm gonna go up to the top stairs, uh, upstairs and do some posing. Just so y'all can see what the pump looks like. Cause I ain't been up there in a minute, honestly, since like competing and everything. But the pump is it's feeling good so far. So I'm gonna go get it, get some, you know, some little videos up there for y'all so y'all can see what I look like. And we're gonna get up out of here. But last set, finish off this workout. And it, honestly, it was a good day. It was a good day. We made it work. You know, our battery's dead. We had the batteries charging, but we made it happen. Whew. Whew. I can't. Ooh. I'm trying to talk so y'all don't copyright the music so you can see the full set. It's hard to talk when you lift at the same time. Damn. Uh. Mm. Uh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Whew. Okay. Good workout, y'all. Good workout. I'm finna head upstairs. Shout out what this pump look like, but I'm happy with today. I'm real happy with today. See y'all upstairs. I guess I'll show you outfit of the day before because I finally got the jacket off. So you can see on the back, new gym shark, heavyweight tee. Nice little, little graphic, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. I think it's a little too bright. Hold on, hold on. I told you I'm keeping it raw. Keeping it raw for y'all boys, man. I'm finna go ahead and check this pump out. Oops. Sorry. Excuse the mic for a second. Y'all probably like, damn, Swole. You looking good. Even though this is my part bulk physique, you know what I'm saying? Because I cut down for show, I don't really hold that much fat on my body still. Cause you know, we still eat pretty decent. But like, because I, I ain't cut down for show and everything, or because I did, we still look pretty decent. Like, vascularity still there. I ain't been eating that much, but you know, I've
All right, y'all. So, workout is finally complete. One thing I like about Roman is they got this little lounge area where I could just chill after the workout. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, I would come here more often if it wasn't 40 minutes from the crib. You feel me? Like, if I look on the map, if it's no traffic, it takes 30 minutes. If it say anywhere between 30 and 35 minutes, I will make the drive every single time. But if it say anything more than 35 minutes, I'm not doing it. That five minutes is killer. You see that 40 on the on the uh, maps? I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. But if it say 30 minutes, we're going to make it work. We're going to come to this gym. So, had a good little workout. You trying to come to the video? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Tell them about your workout and everything. You know what I'm saying? Hello. What's up? You good? Yeah. What did you do today? I did bench. The mic over here. I did bench. <laughs> I did bench. Uh -huh. I did. That's really it. I did, did one Did you do your accessory? Yeah, I did pause bench to my top set. Yeah. Then I did back downs, and then I did close grip bench, and then I did hammer curls. That's too damn many benches. That's, That's that power lift and stuff. Hey, I feel you. Good job. Thank you. Did you work hard? Yeah, it's really hard today. Good. What good, did good, you good. Do? Uh, chest, I did incline press. Then I did incline fly. Then I did a flat press. Then I did a flat fly. And then I did some dips. Wow, you have that memorized. Yeah. I'm a trainer. I said one-on-one -on -one coaching coming soon. I got oh the programs God. in my head. <laughs> I'm telling you, it just rolled off the tongue. <laughs> but I'm good now. I'm ready to go. I was just telling them that it, it ain't nothing to come to this gym when it say 30 minutes. This is probably the best gym in the area for just training until I make mine. Yeah. <laughs> George, if you're watching this, we finna get right real soon. Oh, who God, who I am love I? What he's done with the gym. I know it's great, bro. There's like little little differences that make a big difference. Yeah. You see, I damn, don't no mog me. I got a big pump right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let us know in the comments down below who bicep look bigger, and don't just say her because y'all love the glaze. <laughs> I got a, 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 all right, we're going to head home, and then what we doing when we get home? Making gingerbread houses. Is it, is it time for that? Yeah, it's almost 7. It's, damn, it's late, bro. That's why I was trying to get here earlier. It's not that serious. Huh? It's not, there's, there ain't nothing to do. I know, but I'm just saying. It's already 7 o'clock. Damn. Yeah, movie. Movie or two. Just like probably one. Yeah. We want to find a, a good Christmas movie. movie. That, uh, no, yeah, like a new Christmas movie. I want to try to find like a modern one. Like a good one? Yeah. Not. I don't want to watch no cartoon. I want to find like a... Like a adult <laughs> Christmas movie. Car cartoons. I done seen them all. I, I'm just not the type to rewatch movies. I don't like to rewatch stuff if I know what's gonna happen. I want to be surprised. I want to see some new stuff. The... Yeah, that's if I seen it a long time ago. But you can't really forget cartoons. Built in UK. This is a cool shirt. Like it? Yeah. Go Thank you. Guys. Coast Wall. Coast Wall. Or Craner. Or Craner. You know, but it supports us both, and that's all that matters. You know. They can't hear you, by the way. Oh. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah, I just want to take a picture then with you. Well, in here? Like, yeah. All right, like. come on. Yeah. Are you done talking to your peoples? Yeah. Bye. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see how when we get home. Oh my God, I do it every time. Let's do it. Y'all, made it back to the crib. So you already know what time it is. Time for the gingerbread house contest. The first inaugural I knew you was gingerbread make this into a contest. Why not? I know. No, the good. first inaugural gingerbread house contest. You know what I'm saying? So we got these little kits right here. I don't know what's in there. It's going to be our first time opening them. But we're about to see who can make the best house. And I already know it's going to be me. So I don't even know what we're still doing this for. You ready? Yes. You ready? Yeah. All right. So we should set a timer. That's uh, the only way to make it. That's not time. fair. Yes. You got to make Not that. What? My gingerbread man is broken. Damn. Let me open this up. Miss Sarvia? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully I ain't got no complications in here. While I'm over here, this Captain. Broke. Hey, look. You picked that kit. No, I didn't. You, you picked that kit. Me. So let's see what we got in here. All right. We got icing. Easy build icing. Gumdrops. Candy cane, houses, things, little balls, and little red balls. So, we really ain't got that much to work with. It's really just who gonna have the best design. Is this like a stencil? What you do with this? Easy build tray. Mmm, you put the corners in here to build it. Oh, that's nice. Mmm, no, no, no. What you looking at? Ain't no directions. Stop it. What? Yes. You're trying to cheat. The whole thing is to do it from your imagination. That's not. Yes, it is. That's the only way it's fun. Why she over here trying to make it easy? It's supposed to be fun. You're supposed to do it from your imagination. 
And you're supposed to, you know what I'm saying, build what you think it's going to look like. I didn't know there was rules to gingerbread houses. We're making the rules up right now because it's the first inaugural contest. We ain't going to have you out here cheating. Or, you know? You know how you out here cheating. All right. What are we going to set the timer for? 15 minutes. What? Do you yeah. know, have you ever built a gingerbread house? Bro, this shit is not that hard. Okay. I built one. A I few. built one too. Okay. They take longer than 15. Oh, what you just started for? I just see. Relax. Bro, you are a cheater. No, I'm trying <laughs> you to are a che cheater. I just look at her. Relax. My guy's leg is broke. Yo, look, Miss Sarafia, put some of this punnet and glue it on. There you go. Put a little put a little drop in there and then super glue it back together. You'll be all right. Can yeah, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Can on I his left it? leg, just like you. What? Can I do it first? What? Put his leg on. Yeah. You didn't get Before the joke. Before you start, I got it. Oh. <laughs> Can I put it on first? Yeah, go ahead. Start? Okay. To make it fair. But my camera only got thirteen percent, so we said it's fifteen minute timer, so we can get it going, and then we probably just gonna time lapse it, or unless we gonna be in here messing around with each other the whole time trying to see what we got. But we got two little house, two little baseboards. We got a little, you know, what I'm saying some walls, some windows. Oh yeah. Go grab those scissors over there. What? What do you need scissors for? To cut the tip. Alright. Alright. I thought we need Christmas music, but I just think it's copyright. Alexa, play non copyright Christmas music in the kitchen. Let's we'll see if that works. She said miracle Christmas. That's gonna be straight copyright. You don't have to cut the top, do you? Yeah, you do. Let me no, see. yeah. All right, once we get everything prepared, we're going to go ahead and start. I just need my dude's legs to be back. Once we get prepared, we're going to go ahead and start. Man, I've been sitting over here trying to get this icing to work. Next thing you know, I done popped the top off the icing. Now it's coming out the corners. Look at that. It's icing. For you. Look, stop it. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to make the do what we got. You feel what I'm saying? Look at we're my We're going to make guy. it work. I, put it, I glued his foot back on. I feel his character. What, Bill's character? The fact he that he got injuries. Yeah, he's been through stuff. Yeah, he didn't been through a lot. Your guy just was privileged and got things handed to him. <laughs> Whatever. All right, y'all ready? I mean, you ready? I'm ready. I just had to fix him. He had surgery. He just recovered. You could do that on your own times. It's house building time. I'm ready. I just have. He's good now. Look, he got his stitches out. All right, you ready? Yeah. Set the timer. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. Timer. Fifteen minutes on the clock. If my camera die, Miss Sorry, Miss Sorry. I think we should be able to have. 15 minutes is a long time, bro. No, dude. We'll see what happens. At, what's what's going to look like in 15 minutes. Okay. All right, you ready? Nope. Now I'm ready. 15 minute timer starting now. <laughs> Get to work. To the phone, time to finish finish the house. Timer still going, but it's going good so far. Damn, hold on. No, she moving fast. No, 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 no. No, she moving too fast. Hold on, hold on. I understand what's going on. I'm over here fixing the technical difficulty. She cheating. No, I'm not. She talking about slow and steady winning the race. She cheating. That's why. We back to the camera for a second. We got 16% battery, but can we just show them what we got so far? Yeah. Just so we can, y'all can get y'all pre-dicks in now. Alexa, turn off. Alexa, turn off. 
Just so y'all get y'all predictions in now. So y'all can see what the cribs is looking like. As you can see, we got the Swole household right here. You know what I'm saying? We got Mr. Swole in the front, you know what I'm saying? With the porch lights on because you got to stop the nigga booze from, you know what, what I'm saying? Staying off the lawn in the gingerbread, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hood, you feel me? But we see, you know what I'm saying? We got, you know, the shingles on the roof and all. You know, we got them in the front. Peep the details, though. We got the doorknob on there, you know what I'm saying? I said it now, so if you see her with a doorknob on her, Bro, you know she you took it from me. You know she stuff. took it from me. You see, no, we got the I... lights on the side, you know what I'm saying? We got the lights on the other side. We got the lights going across the top. You feel me? But yeah, go ahead, show them what you're working with. You're so... Go ahead, show them what you're working with. Okay, so I have my stuff. Um, I have my chandelier, which I made before him. Uh, you guys saw Boo. me buying these off. Boo. And I made these as well before he did. And all of a sudden, I look over and he got the same thing as me. But that's okay. Boo. And then I have some lights on my roof. Some bubbles. I go, wow, that's tough. You like it? That's tough. That's tough. I, I can get down with that. I ain't gonna take it from you. Yeah, you I ain't took gonna take everything it from else. No, 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 no. No, I did not. You were not. Who had it first? I ain't gonna lie. The 15 minutes has been gone. The 15 minutes has been passed. Be than that. It's been about 30 minutes so far, and that's what we're working with. So we're gonna probably gonna go for about like five, ten more minutes. That's cat. And then see what's talk. Nah, no, we've been doing this for way too long. No. Just to break these holes back down. What, man? Alexa, shuffle the Christmas music, please. In the kitchen. I messed it up. Alexa, turn off. Alexa, shuffle black Christmas music in the kitchen, please. Thank you. I'll see y'all in a second. Much, much, much later. All right, y'all, so we just finished the gingerbread houses. It took a lot longer than 15 minutes, but as y'all can see, we got the final products right here. So we about to explain our houses, and y'all can let us know in the comments down below who y'all think won. And actually, we're going to have to tell y'all whose it is because it's on YouTube. But on Instagram, we're not going to tell y'all whose it is. But by the time y'all seen the video, the poll would have been gone already. So y'all should know who won. But we can see my house first. You know what I'm saying? We got the gingerbread crib. You got Mr. Gingerbread in the front with the tie, you know what I'm saying? We got the tree on the side with the ornaments, you know what I'm saying? The decorations on the shingles on the top. The shingles on the other side. You got, you know what I'm saying? The shingles going down the middle. Good details. You see, we got the, you know what I'm saying? The doorknob. We got the porch lights to keep the jigger niggers off the, off the, you know what I'm saying? Off the, the lawn. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah, you can see the entire, see okay. the crazy. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, dear, 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 dear. Here, here, here. <laughs> You're doing too much. Go ahead. I don't have anything to say. Explain the crib. It's just a nice crib. This is the crib. Um, do you mm -hmm. guys? Uh uh. What? Uh uh. We need energy. I don't know what to say. Let's go. Let's, you was talking all shit. No, we I was wasn't. You were you talking shit. Come on. Go this ahead. This is my house. Um. Man, let me get let me do the energy for you. Man, say. look, now we got crane and crib, you know what I'm saying, with the detailed shingles at the top, with the lights on the crib, you know what I'm saying, the four big lights at the top. You see Mr. Gingerbread in the front, the details, the color coordination, you see it, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> with the buttons on the, you know what I'm saying. Go back to the other side, you got the symmetry, you feel me? And look, why are you trying to not hype your crib up like it's not fire? Yeah, Man, <laughs> man, her crib is fire. Mr. Gingerbread in the front He's with the pants on, you know what I'm saying? And out. you didn't even know he broke his leg before this, trying to get up on top of the crib, you know what I'm saying? Because she got the pants on, he fixed them all up. You know what I'm saying? But like y'all said, this is number A or like letter A. This is letter A. This is letter B. Y'all let us know in the comments down below whose crib you think won. I'm going to give y'all a side by side right now so y'all can see. Swole crib on the left. Hold on, let's give him another pan. Let's give him another pan. You, you got to the see the tree. You got to see the tree on the oh side. I'm the only one with the tree. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm oh, saying. Man. So we got the tree on the side. Boom. Pan it around. You see the top. Now we got her crib. The shingles. Pan it around. You see the top. And boom. So y'all let us know in the comments down below which one y'all think is better. Honestly, it was just fun. It was a fun thing to just do to end off the night, end off the Christmas day. You feel what I'm saying? Just have a little friendly competition, you know, a friendly competition. The first inaugural yeah. gingerbread house building contest, you know what I'm saying? So y'all let us know in the comments down below which one y'all like more. But that's going to end today's video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all Christmas day. I hope y'all had fun with y'all family. If y'all made it to the gym, if y'all ate some good food, if you got some presents, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching our YouTube channel. Wait, this is yours. Thank you everyone for watching this YouTube channel. And Merry Christmas. Say goodbye, baby. Good morning.
He saw Ines because he wanted to come over here and play. We didn't even ignore him for a little bit. But y'all, hope y'all had a good day. Once again, hope y'all enjoyed your day. Spend time with your family, ate some good food, and just be blessed for the life that y'all were given. Be blessed for the you know, things that y'all have and be blessed for the things that y'all don't have. Because you know it's all coming in due time. But with that being said, man, make sure y'all like, subscribe, share the video with a friend. Stay swole. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Ooh, that was good. I know, oh, no, push the camera, better. push the camera, push the camera. Ooh.